All right, so I've got uh, things tweaked quite a bit. Uh, I think I've got most of my shapes going along here now, as you can see from looking at this. Now, all these lines flow uh, rather smoothly and uh, should give us a fairly accurate uh, shape of our airplane, which you can see here. Now, of course, it looks goofy because the wings are now in the wrong spots, but we have the right size and shape of our airplane now. So let's, uh, let's now go back to working on our wings. So I'm going to jump up here, hit the background, and I'm going to put us in our side view. And then I'm going to go back to here and click on wings. And we're going to want to adjust and move this to where we uh, fit just right. Adjust our zoom to where we are pretty accurate. Okay, so um, you can hit spacebar, and that's going to make everything go into wireframe view, give you a better idea of where things are laid out. And so we're going to go back to, so we're on wing one, which is our main wing. We're going to come over here, and uh, first we'll adjust our vertical arm. Bump it up there. Well, that's actually pretty close. Um, and then our long arm. So it's, it's defaulted at zero, and that's zero is also the zero of our fuselage. And you know, remember when we made that fuselage, I put some of the fuselage negative. All of this is negative, here's zero, all of this is positive. Everything you uh, place in here will be off of that fuselage zero. So we're going to go just a little bit positive, it looks like, to back it up. We're going to back it up to right about there, it looks like. Maybe come down just a hair. Okay. So, I think that's about right there. Now, um, now I had a little bit of information on this image here. It's showing a one degree from level. And so I'm going to go off of that and say that we have a one degree. Now, first I'm going to jump this up just because the more incident or the more uh, pieces of uh, your wing you've got here, the more sections um, x is going to calculate for airflow, just making things a little more uh, accurate. Now it's showing here that one degree, so right here, the angle of in incidence um, aimed up in the front, so we're going to give all of this one degree. Make sure you match that to how your wing is set up. You know, maybe it's got more incidence at the middle or at the root than it does out at the tip. Um, so you just keep an eye on that. Um, for now, we're going to leave it at that because I still want to work in the side view. We're going to switch to the top view in a minute and then we'll place where our control services are. But at the moment, since I'm still working in the side view, uh, we're going to jump over here to our horizontal stab. And uh, let's adjust its location some more. Looks like it needs to scoot back. And there it goes, tweaking our scale again. So let's uh, adjust our scale back. And uh, that actually looks pretty close. Now, also on our picture here, shows we've got a 1.5, and I'm going to say that that's actually in the negative. Um, so we're going to put that across this whole thing. And uh, we'll also add our elevator in there when we go to our top view. Now we can go back to our vertical stab, which we did really quick and didn't uh, actually make accurate. So on the vert stab, we're going to uh, scoot it back a little bit farther, make its length come up here. Notice it uh, tweaked our scaling just a little there. 
and right about there. Okay, now our root chord is quite quite large here it looks to be, so we're just going to adjust that. It's a little too much. Now one thing you can't do here, unless we were to do say two vertical stabs, is get this swoop of an angle here. Um, I'm going to just follow this line straight down, which means that we're going to want to bring this in, bring this in, maybe not that much. Scoot so our, there we go. So you see how that leading edge now just follows that. Now we're pretty close here, but uh, might as well get it to be right on. So let's scoot that. And there we go. Now, how's our length? Looks like that length is right. Okay, so now for this, we're going to bump this up to that. And the reason I did that, one for the chance to tweak all of this, but also these lines are where you're going to cut in your control surface. And uh, I'd like to get that as close to down here as I can. So by add more and move that line down here. Now that's going to be our rudder and uh, I think we're going to start, we're going to just say all of this is rudder. Now you can't uh, tell or see that anything was done but we will uh, we will get to that in just a second. So your uh, that is going to live right here in your control geometry. So for our rudder, you want your chord ratio, and we're just going to kind of guesstimate that off of our image here. Um, so rudder chord ratio, see if we can even see it moving. And let's say, I don't know how far it turns, but we're going to call it at 20. Now to make this easier to see, because I still can't see where that line is, I'm going to come up to, let's see, special, and show with moving controls right there. Now, you get an idea because that is moving now. So we're going to go back here, back to our control geometry, and now we can adjust our line. So, we're going to come up to right about there. And same with this one, up to right about there. Okay, now, that's pretty close. We're not getting the effect of this top section that also moves. Um, I don't know how to do that with X-Plane. It doesn't give me the option to, uh, to bring that up here. So that's, uh, for now, that's what we're going to use, is that right there. Um, while we're in this tab, we might as well add some uh, aileron ratios. We'll have to tweak that later. Um, I do have my control deflections for those. So let's see, ailerons is 17. And I've also got elevators. So we're going to toss elevator in here. And it's controls, and notice this is your down, and this is your up. So our down should be 29, and our up should be 34. Okay, now we need to tell explain where those are at. So we're going to do our background. We're going to go to a top view like that. We're also going to change our actual background image to our top right there. Open that up. Now we go back to our wings tab and shift in the arrow keys and shift and plus and minus to adjust our 
position and scale. And here we notice that uh, our top view does not match our side view, but our side view matched in shape. So this top view is not going to be super helpful, but uh, I will find a better one later and uh, be able to tweak that. So ailerons, we're going to want to jump here to wing and uh, your section start in the center, so we're one, two, three, four, five, six, so seven out is what I'm going to do, and so we're going to go, let's see, ailerons, so basically that one, that one, that one, and that one are ailerons, and you'll see that they've now popped up. Um, also, might as well throw our elevator in here. So we'll jump over to the horizontal stab, and uh, elevator goes all the way across. So we'll just say like that. And then we can go back to our control geometry. And since we're looking at our elevator, we will adjust our elevator's chord ratio. Oh, and as you can see, I put that in number two. We're not working with number two. We're working with number one. So let's place that back into number one. These don't matter because right now we're just we're not even using elevator number two. So we've got that. Now we can see our line as it's moving. So we're going to adjust that. I'd say 50 is a little too much. And that looks pretty close. So now we're going to move our view again to right about there. And we're definitely going to need to get a better image. Of course, this will all be tweaked again with the uh, when we have the Blender model in here and we can compare them side by side. But aileron chord ratio, bump those up to 30, and I'd say that looks pretty good for the moment. So, now hit space, zoom back out, and you'll see we now have a moving elevator, rudder, and our ailerons. You can also actually see our prop. Let's uh, let's put that back in its uh, in its proper area now because it's also based on that zero number. So we'll go up here. We'll go back to our engine specs that we uh, did real quick before. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to jump my background to the side view just to make sure that I'm looking at it without any perspective in where that's at. And we go here, zoom in, and location. So, long arm. Now remember we want to go in the negative now. So we're scooting this up towards the front. And we're going to say it lives right about there. And for our uh, vertical I'd say it's about right but just to make sure we can pull up our side view go back to engine specs adjust the zoom of this so that we fit could come down just a hair. So I'll go to our vert. And let's call it Yeah, right there looks pretty pretty well centered to me. All right. So there we have it. It's uh, starting to look like an airplane and we uh, will probably start working on landing gear.
in the next video.